Good afternoon. Welcome to Seattle Central. Today I'll be talking about perception checking. And perception checking is a way to check in with another person to seek feedback if what you communicated was perceived or received in an accurate manner. One of the things is, the first thing is we want to describe the behavior. So, for example, let's say you came home last evening and your roommate didn't say hello. Or you have children and they're giving you the silent treatment. Or maybe you have a best friend and you had a miscommunication. You thought you were supposed to meet at 4 o'clock at the movies and instead you went at 4.30 but they thought you were supposed to meet at 4. So one of the things to check in with others before we make assumptions which can lead to a conflict is to do perception checking. So one of the first things is we want to describe the behavior. And what this would be is using I language. I observed yesterday when I came home that you didn't say hello and I'm wondering um, what's up with that. So it's a way to describe the behavior. Number two is you want to provide to provide possible explanation. What I mean by this is you want to suggest and, and inquire and uncover why, why did you observe this behavior. So you're going to describe the behavior and then provide possible explanations. Um, when I came home yesterday, I noted that um, when I said hello, I didn't receive a response. Uh, did you not hear me? Were you preoccupied? Or were you upset with me? What's up? So instead of just contacting the person and saying, hey, um, yesterday I came home, I said hello, you didn't reply, I know you're upset with me. Immediately that puts the other person on the defense. Um, so by providing possible explanations, you're giving the person some talking points, if you will. The third aspect or third step is to seek clarification. And this is where you'll talk to the other person. And I noted that when I came home yesterday, uh, when I said hello, I didn't hear a hello or a reply. Um, did you not hear me? Were you preoccupied? Or is something else going on where you're upset with me? Um, can, 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 you, can you give me some more background or more um, explanation? And so this gives the other person an opportunity to really talk about their own perspective and what they're going through instead of me um, assuming what was going on. I'm explaining what I observed and then the other person is able to give feedback and to say, okay, but this is, was my experience. And so it gives us a bridge to talk over these differences and to make sure that we're looking at a communication event from the appropriate perspective of how we intended that communication to come across. Um, so that's perception checking. And I'm just going to write it on the board. And perception checking is a way to check in with the other person to help us and to make sure that we're not jumping to conclusions. Thank you.